Well, the soccer tournament might not be as big of stakes as the World Cup, but neither are the teams. Our Thad Goff has more on the annual Palm Bay blowout that took place this weekend. The Palm Bay blowout soccer tournament took over Bemidji High School on Saturday and Sunday. And it doesn't use the typical 11 on 11 format. The teams are a little smaller. We kept the tournament six versus six, lots of uh, touches on the ball for everybody. Um, and we're playing 6v6 six six from the U10 age group all the way through to the adults. Players were grouped together based on their age, and most teams featured up to two age groups, such as 9 and 10 and 11 and 12. We've got under 10s, under 12s, under 14s, and then we've got 16s, and then 16 through 19, depending on how many teams registered. Each team got to play at least three games, and the most they could score per game was 10 points. You get six points for winning the game. You get a point for every goal you score, up to three goals. And then if you were to record a shutout for your team, you'd pick up an additional point. So if you win a game 3-0, you would score 10 points for the game. Now in its seventh year, the Paul and Bay blowout usually sees a consistent quality turnout. We fluctuate in between about 35, 36 teams up to the biggest year. We had 70 teams here. We had a group from Grand Forks brought their entire club three years ago. They brought 26 teams, just them. So that put us way over. That was an anomaly. We hang around that 35 to 45 teams every year. All in all, it was a fun weekend for the youth and adults. I've enjoyed it so far. Uh, a lot of people coming out, helps bring the community together, other communities in too. I try to come every year. It's been going since 2011, I believe, and I brought my team. I'm from Walker. I brought a team over and we won it the first year, so it's always been a fun tradition. Reporting in Bemidji, Thad Goff, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.